Hey, what's going on everybody? Before we jump into this review, I just want to say the time is over. You don't have to deal with camera, with video, with data, with Wi-Fi connection and the automatic APN settings anymore because now we have custom ROMs based on the OTA update. That means you get 4.1.2 based on the Moto Blur ROM. This means full HD video recording, data works flawless, everything okay. This is really a nice ROM. Really nice from Motorola that they leaked it um, by accident. And yeah, it's really awesome. Now we got custom ROMs, like I said, on the OTA update uh, base. Really nice. This one is the first I review. This is the JellyWiz, holy crap. The JellyWiz ROM 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, made by root user 94. He, he's been uh, busy with the Wiz Bean before. Really nice. It was based on the, on the codename Android ROM. And then later on the CM10, I think. But now this is based on the Moto ROM. That's really nice. You get all the nice goodies from the Motorola ROM. The new lock screen, really nice looking, modified a little bit, got the shortcuts. This one, ROM is really fast. You see no lag, super fast as I scroll here. This one is a huge improvement to the CM10 ROMs and and all the AOSP based ROMs. Just want to fix my focus here. Yeah, let's begin with the status bar. You get the standard clock and you get the circle mod. And you get uh, toggles. You can sc scroll them horizontally and you can See this, the it's almost stock looking jelly bean status bar thing notification tray. Jump to the settings, you get the themed settings just like in touch with. Looks really great with these green accents on the toggles. Yeah, this is based on a, on a stock ROM, so you won't see any ROM control or anything here. So let's let's jump into the launcher again. You see this touch with launcher. And the fluidity of this ROM is amazing. You see no lag at all. Now there was some lag, but widgets of course takes um takes a bit to load. Also my no two that's nothing major. Let's go into the camera. This is the new camera, the 4.2 camera. So this is not the um, original 4.1.2 Moto camera. This is the 4.2. It's really intuitive with this um, sphere camera. And I liked it that the developer decided not to implement the original camera because it's it stayed the same from 4.1404 to 4.1.2 Motorola blur Moto blur and the 4.2 camera is really nice with all these features let's see and we just check yeah we get 8 megapixel shots i made some they look nice and they are the same as you would expect expect to get with the 4.0.4 camera, original one. And the video camera is finally supporting 1080p, 1080p videos, really sharp. I set it to 720, but you get 1080, 1080p. You see, this is very crisp. Let's take a small video, some details here. Let's take this one. It 
And the nice thing is that you get also the 4.2 gallery, which is really intuitive with all these gestures. This is a 1080. Oh, you get video player from TouchWiz, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's... But it's really sharp looking and this display, the screen of the Razer is still a great, great screen. Man, this phone is so beautiful. Got my Note 2 now, but simply loving this phone. Really great that Moto decided to update the old Razer, you know, the flip thing, the old one <coughs> to a smartphone. Yeah, you see, you get all the touch with icons. And let's see which apps you get. You get, of course, S Voice, like on the touch with bass drums on all Samsung devices. You get uh, the camera, of course. And you get Dolby Mobile, which improves your sound. ES File Explorer, I think it's really nice Explorer, but I don't use it. But some guy said it was cool. And you get Flipboard and S Memo is a simple note taking app, not the real the um the real one, the original on the note one. You get no thread CPU control, I almost forget it, sorry. You can overclock this ROM. Finally you can overclock 4.1.2 on the Razer. Thanks to the OTA based custom ROMs, you get 1.3 gigahertz overclock maximum. This really much for this phone. And you can play with the governors and stuff. You get the movie studi studio app, which I think is really cool. You get the S Voice, the Cedar app. Don't know what this is actually. Maybe you guys know it. You can post it in the comment section below. Super user, of course. Set up with the smart actions from the 4.0.4. Really great to have them here. And yeah, that's basically it. This is the touch with lookalike ROM. Based on the 4.1.2 update from Motorola directly, I want to show you the information here. System version, it's based on the Verizon US version, but you don't have to worry. It works for the United States and Europe and all the rest of the world where this device was sold. Just flash, flash the GSM patch. I will give you the links in the description. You see 4.1.2 kernel. This is the new Jelly Bean kernel. Jelly with RLS5 by root user 94. Build date. That's wrong. <laughs> because this custom ROM was built a little bit uh, in, in Janu January or February, I think. The first one based on the Motorola leak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was my review. I hope you liked it. Maybe you like also my new video quality. This is now 720p, but um, I think 30 frames per second. Yeah. Or more. Recorded it with the Note 2. The Note 2 has amazing camera quality, especially the video quality is outstanding and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up for feedback would be awesome guys and follow me on facebook if you like and stay subscribed and subscribe if you haven't already see you in my next video bye